Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be talking about some forced hugging and kissing in virtual reality. Some bear spray to the wobbly bits, running over cops intentionally because you're a crazy bitch, and much, much more. I've saved up some pretty wacky stories from the past month to bring to you for the first Leo recap of 2024. SHOT Show is coming up in a couple days and I just wanted to put one more video out before I take all of John's college money and gamble it away with me, Canyon, Brandon Herrera, and Heather. Speaking of all the nose beer, I'll be ingesting next week in Las Vegas. I wanted to go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsor for the video because daddy needs his money. Listen here, if you just spent a bunch of f***ing money during Christmas, you might be in a little bit of debt. Whether it's credit cards, personal loans, medical bills, or even if it's something in collection, PDS has customized options for anyone struggling with any of that. PDS debt can roll all of your payments into one low interest free payment. Anyone with over $10,000 in eligible debt qualifies and there's no minimum credit score required. They're offering a free debt analysis right now. It takes 30 seconds. Just head on over to pdsdebt.com slash donut. If you're struggling with debt, just head on over there and get that free debt assessment. That's pdsdebt.com slash donut or click the link in the description or comments below. Let's do crime. First up, we're going to talk about the forced hugging in VR and probably one of the most ridiculous <laughs> criminal investigations I've ever seen in my entire life, but it is the UK. They're kind of weird over there anyways at least our schools ain't a f***ing shooting gallery yeah you're just getting stabbed to death every step you take let's start off with a guardian article that i found about this a girl was allegedly graped in the metaverse is this the beginning of a dark future <laughs> This is so stupid. British police are investigating the case of a minor who was allegedly subjected to a virtual gang grape. Expect more cases. British police are investigating the hugging assault of the girl identified only as being under the age of 16 in what is said to be the first investigation of its kind in the UK. By the way, what was she wearing? The girl was reportedly wearing a virtual reality headset and playing an immersive game in the metaverse when her avatar was attacked by several others. Remember kids, never hesitate to bully journalists. They're not real people. I don't try to give many of my personal opinions on this channel because I try to keep it as unbiased as possible. But this is the dumbest shit that I've ever heard of or seen. And the fact that there are police investigating this. <laughs> dude to quote one of my favorite musicians in the entire world tyler the creator well i can't quote him exactly because according to youtube policy because i'm not a black person i can't use soft a's so here we go my ninjas actually first saw this on twitter dick Cerdo had uh, tweeted it out and i responded with tyler the creator saying ha 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 how the f is cyberbullying real ha 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 ninja just walk away from the screen like ninja close your eyes ha <laughs> that makes complete and perfect sense to me if you don't like what's going on in your video game then take your f headset off close your eyes turn the computer off <laughs> some of the other replies to this are just gold too take the headset off live footage of the attack me going to prison after getting 25 kills in a call of duty game hold on vr grapes what the fuck look everyone's responding with the tyler the creator quote too this is so lame it's just taking away from actual graping victims god i hate the uk i'm sorry uk viewers but that is stupid next up we're gonna talk about bear spray to the wobbly bits bear spray meaning the giant canisters of pepper spray used to repel grizzly bears and brown bears black bears whatever the fuck, they repel bears pepper spray sucks i've been directly pepper sprayed three or four times now and have suffered even more than that in cross contaminations from some dumbass police officer spraying people during a fight. First time I was pepper sprayed was 15 years ago in the Navy. Ah. I'm old. One of my aggressors during training uh, broke my nose. Here's the picture. But wait, there's more. It got even worse. I didn't wash my hands very well after training and I went to the PP and I uh, set my dick on fire. Anyways, let's talk about the story at hand. The video that we're going to look at here in just two seconds. Mental illness is no joke. Being homeless is no joke. But if a homeless dude is jerking off in the middle of the the street with families and other people walking by and he somehow you know gets gets bear sprayed <laughs> on his dick I, that's fucking hilarious I don't know if you guys noticed either, but there was definitely a cop driving by and our hero in this situation just didn't give a sh**. Other than the video we just watched, I can't find any more information on where that happened, but it was fun to watch. Moving on, Lincoln, Nebraska last week had a diet killdozer incident. A killdozer light, you might say. Oh my God. 
According to reports, our suspect got a hold of someone's bobcat and was like, screw this liquor store, screw this ATM in front of the liquor store, screw Home Depot, and screw these random people's cars. And you know what? Screw responding police. Unshots. Unshots. Reports don't state why old boy here was channeling his inner Marvin Hemeyer, but in the end, he complied with police, got out of the bobcat, and was arrested. One person was injured in the rampage, and the suspect was charged with second degree assault on an officer. Second degree assault. One person was injured in the rampage, and the suspect was charged with second degree assault on an officer. Second degree assault and criminal mischief. Getting arrested sucks. Going to jail sucks. And you can solve all of these problems today by yeeting yourself out of a window, which is what we're about to watch. In Pennsylvania last week, an owner of an abandoned building called police and said, hey, there's a dude inside my building squatting. He ain't supposed to be there. So police responded and said, hey, dude, this is clearly trespassing or even burgles. You got to come with us. So they put him in the cuffs and they start walking him down the stairs. And that's when the man executes his master escape plan. Ooh, big oof. Why would he eat himself out of a window onto his head when he's just gonna get a trespassing charge that some bitch ass judge is gonna throw out anyway? Well, it turns out he was wanted for attempted murder from a couple days prior when he tried to kill another dude with a crowbar in a parking lot. I guess he really just didn't want to go to jail and he didn't make it after that dive. You know how I absolutely hate weak district attorneys and we talk about that a lot around these here parts? Well, if you hate them too, be ready to be a little upset. A couple of days ago, an NYPD cop was doing an investigation for a robbery that completely wasn't related to what we're about to watch. The robbery that happened involved a vehicle, so the officer was in the road. He had the vehicle there protecting it before detective showed up, and he looks, and there's someone driving on the opposite side of the road towards him. The officer steps up, he puts his hands out to stop the driver to talk to him and say, hey, you f***ing idiot, you're on the wrong side of the road. But the person in the car just guns it, pedal to the metal, and hits the officer, throwing him in the air. Unfortunately, the officer only suffered a broken leg, which I mean, that still f***ing sucks, but at least the lady didn't kill him. Listen to what happened afterwards, though. The woman in question, who has an extensive criminal history, was reported saying, f*** these cops, he wouldn't move these cops. It's a lesson to him and hopefully he doesn't want to be a cop anymore. She was charged with first degree attempted assault, attempted aggravated assault on a cop, second degree assault, second degree reckless endangerment, and operating a vehicle while ability impaired by drugs and reckless driving. The impaired part comes from afterwards. She said, yeah, I just smoked a bunch of weed. I don't know if you picked up on that, but her main big charge was assault, not attempted murder. She drove over a uniformed police officer, said F those cops. I meant to hit him and wasn't charged with attempted murder. Ah. Living in New York. And get this, she has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and helps run a program to keep kids from joining gangs and committing crime. <laughs> Clown world. Guess what, guys? I was just in a Demolition Ranch video, so go watch that. Watch the Unsubscribe podcast and go to DonutOperator.com to help support my channel. I hope you enjoyed this little Leo recap, and until next time, please have a fantastic day. Whack.